going on guys so in today's video we're going to be talking about six stars and taking them to rank three in the order of each class that i personally would take these champions up in if i had them so we're going to be going over each class and talking about why each champion is there how this list works is at the top that's the the first champion that i would ideally take to rank three of a certain class and as the list goes down my desire to take them to rank three also goes down so if it's a champion at the bottom of the list they barely made it there um so yeah i'm gonna zoom in here so we can get a bit of a better look and we're gonna go class by class so let's uh go ahead and zoom in on here and let's go ahead and start with science since that's the first one we got here so Science class, man. Thing is at the top of the list. And Thing and Human Torch, they're, they're one and two, uh, and they're interchangeable. Uh, but this is my personal list, the six star champions that I would rank three. And having the Abyss at 100% completion, I would lean towards taking up Thing over Human Torch to rank three. Uh, but if I was in a position where I still had to do the Abyss, I would probably take up Human Torch over Thing to a rank three level let's say i just did my abyss initial completion uh and i got a science catalyst i had thing or human torch to choose from i'd probably go human torch and make the abyss 100 percent easier for myself but again it depends what kind of situation you're in and depending on your account you can maybe change the orders of which champions you would take up to rank three uh so don't use this as a bible or anything just use it as a bit of a, a rough guide for to get a good idea of which kind of champions you would want as some of your first rank threes for each class. So yeah, Thing and Human Torch, they're definitely at the top of the science class for me that I would want to have at a rank three uh, level for a six star. And then next up we have Void and Captain America uh, Infinity War. And these two, again, they're, they're pretty interchangeable at the number three and four spot. But the reason I have Void higher is personally, I would take a Void uh, over Captain America Infinity War for the sheer fact that he doesn't need the SIG levels, you know? Uh, they both benefit from being SIG 200, a great, great benefit, but Void at SIG 20 can still put in work and do what you need him to do. Captain America Infinity War at SIG 20, uh, if you want to try to reverse healing or something like that, you're going to have a tough time. You're going to want a very high SIG level, and when we're talking about 6 stars, that's a problem. Also, Prestige is a factor here in all of my rankings, so keep that in mind as well. Uh which we'll talk about more when we get to the tech class because you can see there's one champion that you would think would be at the top of the list but uh she's not uh, and again prestige is a factor here when we're talking about taking a six star to rank three this is going to be the next big thing this is going to attribute to the next prestige race so you gotta you gotta factor that in here so yeah boy and cast america they both make great rank threes, but again, it's, the Sig Stones are extremely scarce for Sig Stars as it is. So you gotta keep that in mind. And then two more champions make the science list, and that's Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. And uh, I think both of these champions are pretty good, but uh, they definitely wouldn't be my top picks to, tank, to, to take to rank three. Uh, but I, I think I would if they're my only option. I like both of these characters enough to take them to that much of a level, and I think they are good enough to bring to that sort of a level. Uh, but again, they're not the top choice, but the prestige is good. Um, so yeah, uh, I wouldn't probably take any other science champion to rank three. The only other champ I was considering putting up here was Wasp, but then I, I thought about it, and I'm like, would I rank three a Wasp? And I was just like, no, I wouldn't do that. So that's why I didn't put her on the list. When I asked myself that question before I put a character on the list. Would I do it? And if I just say to myself, no, then I, I just can't justify it. Um, so that's the science class. Let's move on to the skill class. So top of the list is my boy, Nick Fury. This guy puts in so much work, dude. Nick Fury is just an absolute monster at rank three. He would be ripping it up. There's some gameplay on YouTube of it. Dang, it is, it is nice. So he would definitely be my first choice for a skill champ to go to rank three. I have a skill catalyst. I'm, I'm hoping for that Nick Fury. But again, if I didn't have the Abyss at 100% completion, Aegon would probably be at the I don't know. Nick might still be at the top uh, since I have Captain Marvel. But uh, Aegon, uh, definitely, definitely a contender for rank three, especially if you don't have the Abyss done. Even though I have the Abyss done, if I pulled Aegon at this point in time, 
I would still, and let's say I have like a skill jam to awaken him, I'd still take him to rank 3, uh, and I think he would still definitely be worth it for future content. Having him at that high of a level would be great, and for like Act 6 and stuff, so I think Aegon's definitely worth it. Next up we have uh, Stealth Spidey, who is I felt was really underrated for the longest time, and uh, I feel like Abyss really showed like his, his capableness. For just how useful his slow debuff is. It is so useful. I rocked this guy in Alliance War. If you guys watch a lot of my Alliance War videos, uh, you see I, I put in some great work with this guy, even on the hardest paths and the hardest fights. He's an absolute monster. I would definitely rank 3 as Stealth Spidey. He could really use the health pool <laughs> increase. Um, that'd be great. That'd be the best reason to rank him up. His health pool is extremely low. So you could really benefit from that rank 3 level. Uh, next up we have Squirrel Girl, who is pretty sick uh and i would definitely take to rank three if i pulled her i feel like these four champions are definitely the top candidates for the rank three level i feel like nick if you're none of the abyss nick fury is like a step above everyone um and then Aegon, and then stealth spidey and squirrel girl as in the listing but like these four, I I would have no problem taking them to rank three. Like I, I wouldn't even really have to think about it. I think all four of those characters are pretty pretty well worth it. But then after them, it it falls off. There's a pretty big divide between those four and the next three. Uh, the next up we have Killmonger, who I was thinking about it and I'm like, what would I take Killmonger to rank three? And I think I would. I I do like Killmonger feel like he could really use the damage increase from a rank three level um and i think he could be i think he could be worth it uh next up we have ronin who you might be a little surprised to see in here um but i think ronin is good especially if you know how to play him and i think he has a lot of potential um i think he could be worth it it, it would depend if, if i had like no other option then, then I'd maybe do it. He's a little on the questionable side. Again, as we get lower on the list for a specific class, my desire to rank them up dwindles. Uh, and then we have Elsa Bloodstone, who, again, uh, I think she's pretty underrated. She, I've seen some good stuff from Hector. He ranked her up recently. So, yeah, I, I think you can see her at rank 3 as well. She has pretty good prestige. So, again, that is a factor. But uh, yeah, that's the skill class. Let's move on to the mutant class. This is one of the most interesting classes, I think. Uh, so a lot of people might think Sunspot would be at the top of the list, but I still think Namor is, I think he's the best mutant to take to rank three uh, as a six star. For, if you want a good ratio of usability and prestige, if you want to go full on prestige, go Sunspot. If you want to go full-on offense, maybe go Domino. I feel like Namor is that perfect middle ground between those two characters, having amazing prestige and amazing usability. I think Namor just really packs in the best of both worlds. And for me personally, if I had to pick any mutant to be my rank three, it would be it would be Namor, 100%. I focus all my six stones in him, get him to 200. But again, that is a factor with the six stones. If six stones are really going to be an issue for you, then mate, then Namor might not be the way to go. Uh, but in like the most ideal scenario, uh, I, I would go Namor. Just he has that perfect ratio of usability and prestige for me, which is what I want my rank three six stars to be. Some people are gonna say, I just want prestige, and that's cool. Some people are gonna say, I don't care about prestige, I just want the best champions, uh, and that's cool too. You can go which whatever way, you can go whichever route you want. Uh, but me personally, I'm trying to go the route of the best of both worlds. Uh, <laughs> Trying to have it all. Trying to have my have my cake and eat it too. So that's Namor at number one. Sunspot at number two. I st I mean, Sunspot's still really good. That's the thing. He still makes the number two spot because he is still a beast. And plus he's got, he's packing. He is packing that prestige. So he makes the number two spot, no doubt. And then we have Domino who is a big slacker on the prestige. But she is just such a beast. You could justify taking her to that rank three level. Uh, I see Hector do some crazy stuff with her in Alliance War on Path 4 at a 565 level. So at a rank 3 level, oh my goodness, bro. She would just tear up the Alliance War map on offense. Or you could place her on defense and she could rack up some kills with the dodge defender mechanics. Ooh, would not want to fight that. 
Uh, and then we have our boy Havoc, who some of my alliance recently took up uh, Havoc. Shout out to Asnif. Um, and I, I, yeah, I think that's a good rank up. I'm thinking to myself, like, would I, would I rank Havoc to rank three? I'm like, yeah, I would. Yeah, Havoc's a beast. He's got good prestige too, and he's, he's an absolute monster with damage. He's got some utility as well, having non-contact uh, mediums. I believe, uh, yeah, he can get past the Korg's Thorns and stuff like that, similar to uh, Omega Red, and he also has Incinerate Immunity, which is pretty nice. And then we get Colossus, who I think is an absolute beast. Uh, Colossus, man, he is he's just awesome. And then we have Omega Red, who's a bit lower on the list, but like this list, it's more, they're more on like the same step, you know? Whereas the skill is a big divide between the top four and the top three. But with the mutant class, it's more compact to about Omega Red. Um, the only problem with Omega Red is, again, you're going to need really a lot of Sig Stones if you really want to get the most out of Omega Red. And he's he's quite slacking on the prestige side of things. So that's why he's a bit lower. But a rank three Sig Jordan Omega Red, um, I'd love to see what his D-Gen would look like, man. I'm sure it'd be really great but that's a lot of eggs in one basket that doesn't yield a lot of prestige so for me personally that's why i put him so low uh on this list and then we put emma frost on here she barely made it on here uh you know i was like i was looking through every six star in the game and i, I went through every single one i'm like what i rank three i'm like yes no 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 yeah like that's how i made this list and i got to emma frost just like would i and i think i think i would um I think she's a pretty good champ. I think she just gets overshadowed by some of the other mutants that are just kind of really crazy. But I think I would take Emma Frost. I think she'd be a really strong rank 3. So many immunities, great damage output. Uh, there's a lot she can do. So I think I would. I think I would take a rank 3. Then we get to the Cosmic class. Uh, and I'm going to let me uh, move this over a bit here so we can get the rest of this in here. There we go. So, the Cosmic class, we have at the number one spot, Cat Marvel Movie. And some people might be going, wait, why isn't Corvus number one? Man, I have a rank through Cat Marvel, so I can speak from experience. She is amazing. I really dig it. Uh, I've seen Corvus gameplay at the rank three level. But the problem with Corvus is, you gotta build up those charges, man. And I, I, I hate that. Like, some fights, you just can't can't build charges with cap marvel you can build it up on any fight you just parry that's all you gotta do um and, and the thing about cat marvel is her she's got the prestige man she's got the prestige to boot uh it's kind of like a namor situation where you have an amazing champion great damage great utility and great prestige on top of it so i think that's why she makes the number one appearance for the cosmic class that's i'm really glad she was my first rank three and uh yeah, I couldn't ask for a better Cosmic Rank 3. I'm really, really happy with the decision I made and glad that I got her. Uh, I should get her awakened. But then at number two, we have Corvus. So don't worry, Corvus is number two. It's There's no step at all. They're like right there. Just Cat Marvel's, if Corvus had higher prestige, I'd, I'd put him higher, but he doesn't. So Corvus at number two, Corvus it would be an absolutely phenomenal Rank 3, man. No, no doubt. Uh, no doubt for sure. It's Corvus, man. And then next up, we have Silver Surfer who might be a bit questionable, but uh, his prestige is insane. His prestige is absolutely insane. So for the prestige fact alone, there's an argument to take him to rank three. But also, I think Silver Surfer is very underrated. Uh, I think he's actually a pretty good champion. I think he just kind of fell short of everyone's expectations of what we were all hoping for. I still think he's a pretty good champ, and I would take him to rank three. I asked myself that question. I would. If I had him awake and everything, yeah, I'd take him to rank three. Um, so, yeah. Like, I'd much rather take a Silver Surfer to rank three than a Phoenix, you know? Because uh, he's, he's got uses. He's got uses, and he's actually pretty good. And then next up, we have Arcus, who might be, again, a little questionable for some people, but I actually really like Arcus. I think he's a great uh, champion, really good for fighting those robots, and just the tech class in general, especially if you have the one synergy that lets him... Uh, Bypass ability accuracy he basically turns anyone who's metal into like a robot with this one synergy, and he can lock them down and everything. So I like Arcus, man. I really, I really like Arcus. Uh, then we have Venom and Venom the Duck, which these two are a bit lower because they're both a bit slacking on the prestige side of things. Uh, they both round off around uh, mid twelve thousand range at six hundred. Um, ideally, you want a six star to at least break thirteen thousand uh, for six hundred be like all right prestige you know 
Uh, but yeah, these guys are a bit slacking on it, but they're they're both great champs. So I could really see bringing either of them up to rank three. I have Venom myself, and if I get him awakened, um, I might just take him to rank three. I have another Cosmic Catalyst. Uh, I like Venom. I, I really do. I think he's a, a really strong champion. I think he's good. I think he could be worth it. And Venom the Duck, I also have him. I've just never been too much of a fan of his play style and how he works, but I, I, I might take him to rank three. Had him awaken. I could, I could see. It. I've seen some pretty crazy stuff that he can do. Uh, and then we also have a Nihilus on here, which after the buff, I've seen some really great things. Uh, but that's with synergies and everything. But uh, all around, he's not too bad of a champ. Uh, he's also got great prestige and he's got a great use on defense. So if I awaken my Nihilus, I think I'd take him to rank three. So. Yeah, but again, uh, once we get to the lower of these lists, the desire to take them up goes down. So keep that in mind. And then we get to the tech class, which this one is probably the most controversial, maybe. Uh, we have Warlock at number one. Now, I put Warlock at number one. Um, I think Ghost is a better champion than Warlock. I think Ghost is the strongest champion in the game. But with six stars... The signature uh, really matters. And again, six stones are scarce. And Ghost Prestige is terrible. It is terrible. So I, I with all that in mind, I, I just don't think she makes the, the best tech option for a rank three for me, for me personally, because I already have a Ghost as a five star at signature level 200. And she fills all my ghostly needs, you know? She, she covers me for all my ghostly desires. That sounds weird, but... Anything I need Ghost for in the game, she's got it covered, man. And the boost from rank 2 to rank 3 as a 6-star, it's not that big of a difference. It, like, the buffs on a 5-star, like, if you throw a heavy attack with a 5-star C200 Ghost, rank 5, and you get one Fury, which there's a 50% chance on each hit to get a Fury, your damage output is going to be the same as the rank 3 or greater. It's going to be around the same. Which One heavy attack, one, one little Fury buff that's not hard to get. So I just, I just don't think it's worth it taking a Ghost to rank 3. I'd, I, it could definitely be worth it, but just not the best option. And for me personally, she would not be my first option. Because, like I said, I got the 5-star, and I'm a bit more focused on prestige. want the best of both worlds. So Warlock, for me, would just be the perfect tech champ to take to rank 3. That's why I went for two featureds uh, with, the, with the pool that he's in. He's got prestige, he's got the utility, he's got the damage, he's, he's got the full package. So I think Warlock would be one of the best rank 3s in the game to have as a first rank 3 for tech. And then we've got Guillotine 2099, which is, I find her very similar to Warlock. Um, not quite as good, more sh shorter, bursty, medium fights. Uh, but uh, she makes up for it in the long ramp up fights. And if you finish a fight with an L3, then... You can already ramp up for the next fight. Uh, I would love to take either of these two champions in rank three for for a tech option. She was also in the featured pool. That's, again, that's why I went for it. Um, unfortunately, didn't pull either of them. And then we have Ghost, which again, if you if you don't have Ghost already as a five star, because you don't have her all as a five star, then for you personally, I could see ranking her at the top of the list and wanting to have a Ghost at this level. But at rank two, she could do work already. And again, it's the whole signature aspect with prestige to factor in. So for me, that's why I just don't put her quite at the top. And then we have Sentinel, who's also in the current featured with Warlock and Guillotine, who I also missed on. Which I do have a Sentinel, uh, but he's not awakened. Uh, but I think he can make a pretty solid rank 3. Uh, but he'd have to be awakened. And yeah, mine's not awakened. And then we have a Darkhawk, who I think could make a pretty good rank 3. But the problem with Darkhawk is you want him to be high signature level. And then we also have Mysterio, which actually thinking about it now, I might put Mysterio even above Darkhawk because Mysterio really does not need to be awakened, uh, and he doesn't need a high signature level either. Uh, so yeah, Mysterio, I, I really do like Mysterio. I think he's pretty cool. I think he could be a really great rank three, cover a lot of ground. Uh, but the thing is, I would like a robot rank three. Um, so, you know, like four out of the six champs are robots. I'd like a good robot. For me personally, I'm, I'm kind of missing that. A really strong robot on my roster but yeah that's the tech class and then we move on to the final class the mystic class which is very exciting because we've just gotten two new mystic champions who made the list um so number one dr doom 
Doctor Doom, I think, is by far the best rank three six star Mystic champion to get. He he again, he's the best of both worlds kind of situation. He's like the best of the best both worlds because he's the best prestige option for Mystic. He's also the best Mystic, I think. Uh, it's pretty close between him and Longshot, I'd say. I need to need to play with a, a rank five Longshot, but. Yeah, Dr. Doom, man, he's got so much utility, he's got decent damage output, he's got the prestige. So yeah, Doc, I think he's the perfect rank 3 Mystic, uh, the first rank 3 six star Mystic to have, and yeah, he'd definitely be my number 1 choice. But, actually, Longshot might be, only because of the prestige, Dr. Doom edges out Longshot for me. Because uh, I already have Doom as a 5 star, I'd love Longshot as a 6 star, um... If it wasn't for the prestige, I would prefer a long shot because I already have Doom as a five star. Uh, but yeah, long shot makes the number two spot. His prestige is all right, and he's just a beast, man. I, uh, rank three, six star long shot would just be insane. So he makes the number two spot, and then we have Clairvoyance and Sim Supreme. These two are very much so interchangeable. The only reason I put Clairvoyant higher was for prestige reasons. Uh, I, I'd say they're very close to each other in like their ability uh the best mystic champ in the game i don't think they're, they're the best but i feel like they're they're pretty close to each other um it comes down to if you run suicides or not if you do run suicides favor clairvoyant if you don't favor sim supreme they're both very good mystic champs and then we have mojo who really impressed me as a rank three taking down the six star or not the, six star, the uh 6.2 champion boss that was amazing. Never took it. Never sold him with a anything less than a rank five. So he made it like, seem easy with uh, with with the synergy granted. But uh, yeah, Mojo can be a good rank three. The only problem with Mojo is you gotta have him at sig two hundred uh, or a high sig to really get uh, the most out of his fury from his signature ability. And then the next two champs takes a bit of a step down from my desire to wanting to rank three. But I still think I would perhaps rank three of these next two champs and that's Morningstar and if I had to do the Abyss uh, Morningstar's rank three would be should be great um, I think Morningstar is a really really powerful champion one of the best in the game I'd, but uh, at max soul so fully built up I think she's like a top five top ten champ in the game at five souls fully fully built up all her persistent charges the problem is I hate building her up I hate building her up that's why i'm not really the biggest morning star fan but seeing what she can do in abyss was pretty impressive so yeah at a rank three level all that perfect block all that regen all that damage from the l1 could be a very strong combo and then we also got mad thing from my boy brian grant he makes the list as well uh, i was watching brian use him and uh not bad not bad uh he's pretty good he seems but uh, you got to make sure you're running Max Mystic Dispersion. But, uh, yeah, guys, so that is the list of five stars that I would take. Sorry, not five stars. Six stars that I would take to rank three. Let me uh, zoom out a bit here. Move this back on up. There we go. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on every single ranking. Like I said, I literally went through a list of six-star champions. Yes, no, yes, no. So, that's, uh, that's my thoughts. Again, it depends on your roster and what you're really aiming for in this game. Is your focus prestige? Do you not care about prestige? That's going to change things, you know? I tried to I try to go for the best of both worlds for myself and my account because when it comes down to it, sure, prestige is nice. I, I could just focus on prestige and probably get into like a top five alliance or something, you know? But I don't want to do that. I want to stay in my alliance I want to help out in prestige, help us stay in the top 10. But at the same time, I want to have fun playing this game. I want to enjoy playing with the champions that I rank at the highest level. So it can't just be purely prestige because then the game will just get stale for me. And I'm not going to want to want to log in and play with my rank 3 Phoenix. I'm just I'm just not going to. So I had to find a mix of everything. Uh, prestige to help the alliance. Uh, fun for myself having a fun champion to play with and also a good champion for future content uh legends runs etc 
So yeah, that's the list, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts. If you already have a rank three six star, let me know who your first one was. Was it someone on the list? Was it someone not on the list? Why and why? Let me know why. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find this video educational at all or anything, drop a like, share it with an alliance mate. Maybe you guys are trying to decide on some rank threes. You just completed abyss. I don't know. Thank you guys for watching this video though. Peace out.